hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious and in this video we want to look at uh, the hcf and lcf numbers of course hcf means highest uh, common factor whereas the lcm is uh, lowest common multiple right so now remember in our previous video we've talked about factors so highest common factors uh, factor sorry means for instance we have let's say um six and ten for example the factors of six are you have one two three six and then the factors of ten are, <clears throat> are one two five ten okay so here now you can see that these two numbers has just two common factors that's the universal one which is one and then two okay so now among the common factors the highest or the biggest among them is what we call the hcf of the two of them so now that you have six and ten the hcf of six and ten is what two okay so if we give another example say 12 now the, the factors of 12 1 2 3 4 uh, 6 and then 12 okay so now comparing 6 and the 12 now the common factors are 1 2 3 6 okay there is one here one here two here two here three here three and then and the highest among them is 6 therefore the highest common factor the hcf of 6 and 12 is what six okay so now what about lowest common multiple that's lc we say that that is the lowest number that uh, can divide the two or more numbers remember when you talk about hcf and lcm it is with respect to two or more numbers if you have two numbers and you're looking for the hcf it means the highest common factor that means among the common factors that's the numbers that can divide the two of them like i said six and twelve all the numbers that can divide six and twelve the highest amongst them okay and then what about the lcm we said that that is the least common multiple meaning if i have six and twelve now i am looking for the lowest number that the two of them can divide Remember, common multiple means things that these two can actually divide. Okay, for example, now, 24 is there. In fact, 12 is the beginning. 12 can, uh, 6 can divide 12. 12 can divide 12. 24 is part of it. 30, no, is not there. 36 is there. 48 is there, and so on, right? So, and you can see now, among all these common multiples, then you can see that 12 is the least so the least number that the two of them can divide is called the lcm or the least common multiple so that's another way to actually ask for lcm of numbers instead of saying find the lcm of these numbers we can say find the least number that the numbers can divide right so we have few examples to look at let's look at them immediately so this question here says, find the HCF of the following, All right? So we'll begin with the A. There are two ways, or maybe more ways that we can actually find HCF of numbers. I'm going to look, we are going to look at a particular approach in this particular video, which is the successive division approach. And then in our next video, we are going to look at how to get the HCF or even LCM of numbers using the prime factor approach remember in the previous video we talked about prime factors you will need to look at it that's prime factorization where you express a number as a product of these prime factors you can actually also use that approach to get the hcf or the lcm of a set of numbers number is we are going to be looking at the successive division approach and what does it say you have given me 54 and 90 so all I need to do is to put them in a division uh, pattern where I have my 9 and then I have 54 and 90. So for HCF, all you need to do is to look for the number that can divide the two of them and then keep dividing until you cannot find anything that can divide the two. 
you stop there so let's start two can go here two into 54 is 27 2 into 90 is 45. Now 2 can no longer divide. The 3 can go for the 2. So 3 into 27 is 9. 3 into 45 is 15. 3 can still go again. This is 3. 3 into 15 is what? 5. And from here now, you can see that nothing can divide 3 and 5 again. That's dividing two of them together. So you will stop here. Therefore, your HCF is simply equal to just multiply what you used to divide. So your HCF is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. And when you multiply this, this is going to give us what? 18. That means 18 is the, the highest number that can divide 54 and also divide 90. That is uh, your 18 and that's the HCF of the two of them. And then what about the second example, the B? They are asking us to find for 168 and 240. So we are also going to use the division approach. 2 can also go here. We will get 84 and 120. 2 can still go. We have 42 and 60. 2 can still go. We have 21 and 30. And finally at this point... 2 can no longer go, but 3 can go. This is 7 and 10, right? Nothing else can divide 7 and also divide 10. So we'll stop here. Therefore, the HCF we are looking for, the HCF for 168 and 240 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. That's the multiplication of this. Okay, so and that is going to give us 8 times 3 which is 24 and that's a solution for this all right so we have more examples here so this one is talking about the lc hcf of this also so we we'll also draw our line 225 divided by uh, sorry and 70 sorry 750 and please note that uh, this can be more than two actually it's not a more that it's only two numbers we said two or more so can 2 go here? No. Of course, 2 cannot divide 2 to 5, even though it can divide 750. However, 3 can divide through. The sum of this is 9. The sum of this is 12. So 3 can go. So we begin, always begin with the smallest divisor or factor. So 3 into 2 to 5. 3 into 2, 22 will give us 7. Carry 1 here. 15 is 5. 3 into this, 7 is 2, 5 zero and then three can still go again is it true no three can no longer divide 250 so we will because the sum of this is seven and it's not divisible by three so we go for so of course two can go so we go for five so five into 75 is uh, 15 five into 250 is 50 five can still go again five into 15 is three and 5 into 50 is 10. Of course, at this point, there is nothing that can divide again. Therefore, the HCF we are looking for is equal to 3 times 5 times 5. And that is equal to um, 75. Okay, that is 75. And that's the solution for this. So, quickly, we look at some examples for LCM. Remember, we're considering the division approach in this case so now what do you do here now in this place you're also going to divide but there's going to be a little difference you know from hcf remember in hcf you stop wherever there is no common divisor so but in lcm you keep dividing until you get one in each case meaning for here assuming i'm looking for lcm here i'll still divide by three and keep going until i divide everything so let's start that so here we have LCM of 28 and 40. Okay, so here I have uh, 2 can go here. So I'm going to get 14 and I'll get 20 here. 2 can still go 7 and I'll get 10. Now at this point you can see nothing can go. Assuming it was HCF, we'll stop here. But here 2 can still divide again. It can divide 10. 
So in this case, it can divide 7. So you bring 7 down that way, but it can divide 10 to give us 5. So at this point, 5 can go. Then you can divide 7. You bring down your 7 that way. It divides 5. You have 1. And finally, now you use 7 to divide. And that will give us 1, 1. So until you get 1, 1, you don't stop. So here, your LCM is equal to 2. You will also multiply everything here. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 7. And that's going to give us, this is 8 times 5 is 40. 40 times 7 is 280. And that is the H, sorry, the LCM for these two numbers, 28 and 40. And then for example, B, we have 36 and uh, 132. Okay, so what are we going to start with? Two can start. So this is going to give us 18. And uh, this is uh, 6, 6. Two can continue. This is 9. This is uh, 33. Now 3 can continue. This is 3. And this is 11. 3 can still go. Remember if it was HCF, <clears throat> I should have stopped here. But this is LCM, so I'll continue. 3 into 3 is 1. 3 cannot go into 11. Then finally 11. So 11 and I'll have 1. 11 into 11, 1 also. Therefore, my LCM for these two numbers is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 11. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 3 is 36. And 36 times 11 will give us 6, 9, and 3 as a solution. You can check that 36 times 11 is 36 and 36, okay? So that will give you 6, 9, and 3, all right? And that is the LCM uh, for these two numbers, all right? Okay, and finally, you have this, and this is LCM. Let me do it this way. In this case, find the LCM and HCF. Find HCF and LCM of this. I am leaving it for you as an exercise for 120 and 180. Please drop your solution as comment in the comment section below. And uh, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, and share our YouTube videos. We'll see you in our next content. Bye.